BN, five times chief of army staff, four times, inviting them to appear before this special ad hoc committee. The ad hoc committee is set up to look into purchase and control of arms. We are all aware that there are killings everywhere in this country. Government are even forced to go into negotiations with bandits. And we have said, come and address us. Come and tell us how much that have been spent. Taxpayers' money. Yeah. We represent Nigerians who pay these taxes. And we have said, come and tell us. Let us know what has happened. Trillions of Naira approved, budgeted and approved by this National Assembly. And of course, you had, as a last week, conflicting reports from the security apparatus. Money disappeared. No, I was quoted out of context. These are the things we want to look into. We just want, we don't want to sit down here and take a decision or a position. We have given them the right of fair hearing. Come and explain to us what has happened. So that we know if the problem is that the money approved or released, budgeted, is not enough, this ad hoc committee can make a recommendation to the House. So we are even trying to help them. Let us know their challenges. Because you cannot tell me that every day the House of Reps will stand off a mini silent. Every time we sit. Every time. These days, our school children, students, pupils, are being kidnapped. What are they encouraging? So you are discouraging those little kids not to have education. Enough is enough. But CBN, CBN, the central bank governor, should be careful. The act of National Assembly created Central Bank of Nigeria. You cannot be more bigger than the law. If there's anything you're hiding, these ad hoc committees set up by the House will not allow it. So we have summoned them, as you heard, by the 7th of April, 2 p.m. If they don't come, then we'll take another step further. But just to say that we will not allow this. Thank you very much. We really have to take a very hard stand on this matter. The last time the representative of uh, Chief of Army Staff came, uh, Mr. Chairman, the single colleagues, we told him that the Chief of Army Staff should appear in person, at least to come and uh, 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 deposit the documents requested by this committee because he is the man in charge of that uh, agency. Mr. Chairman, distinguished colleagues, CBN has been a problem to this house and they cannot, they cannot, because we approve their budget. They cannot operate the way they are operating, and this house will keep quiet, and they think they can do it all the time and get away with it. By the way, what are we asking for? What are we asking for? Come and tell us how much you have paid for the purchase of arms. We have given you the right of fair hearing. Are you hiding anything? Who will not allow it? If there is something you are hiding because you are CBN, we will not allow it. People are killed every day. Yes. Mr. Mr. Chairman, distinguished colleagues, I want to move a motion. Let me stop at this. But, but I want this house and this ad hoc committee. We don't have time that we come here every day and we sit three hours, four hours, waiting for a government agency. Mr. Chairman, you just put section 88 that gave us that unfettered power to invite anybody at all. I want to move a motion. As the man represented upon the same government, that we summon, especially Chief of Army Staff and CBN. Enough is enough. The contribution of my colleague to say that the motion be moved and adopt entirely, that the CBN governor and the Chief of Army Staff because to appear before this committee. And we have invited various agencies in respect of this and failure of the rallying point, which is CBA, failure of them to appear before this committee after sitting here 
from uh, past night. We have been here before 10 a.m. And this is after one. You say aye. Aye. So those are girls. She said nay. The eyes are it.